Um, let's do this. We are officially now going to give you a live performance of E-Wave with the one and only Mark Oberon. I've got three spectators here with us today. Mark's going to run us through all these right about now. So, Mark, take it away. Let's see E-Wave live right now. Right. Okay. Um, well, I'll start with uh, Nigel at the top. Uh, Nigel, would you please just name one of these symbols for me? Uh, star. The star. Okay. And choose another one, please. Uh, a cross. Cross. Okay. So what I'm going to do, Nigel, is mix these up. Okay. And I, I could put this behind my back, but I'll I'll just take it out of the shot of the screen a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea is for you to tell me where, let's say the cross, start with the cross. Is the cross here in position one or here in position two? What do you uh, think? Uh, position one. The cross here in position one. Yeah. So it is. <laughs> Let's try it again, but this time with the star. Okay, I'll mix these up out of sight. And the question is, is the star in my right hand or my left hand? Uh, your left hand. My left hand, this one here. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you, you got it again. <laughs> All right. Now, let's bring in uh, one of the other guys. Um, who have we got? What's the name of the next guy down? Uh, we've got Frankie is the second one on my list here, so I'll bring just Frankie in. There he is. Okay, Frankie, would you would you please name one of the remaining symbols? Circle, wavy lines, or square? Let's do wavy lines. Okay. What I'll do, Frankie, is I'll mix them up. Mm -hmm. And the idea is for you to be able to tell me whether the wavy lines are in. Position one, or in the middle, position two, or on the end here, position three. Are the wavy lines in one, two, or three? Um, three. Wavy lines over here in position three. <laughs> nice. right. Right. Thank you. Um, um, what's the name of um, the, uh, the other spectator here? What's, what's uh, that would other? be Jeff. We've got Jeff in here. Okay, Jeff, please name one of these symbols. Square. The square, okay. I'm gonna give them a little mix. And what I'd like you to do, sir, is to have a little think about whether the square is in position one, two, three, four, or five. This is called any symbol, any position. <laughs> Or ASAP, as I like to call it. <laughs> I'll take so what position do you think, four, Mark. Yeah, the square in position four, which is exactly where the square <laughs> is. <laughs> All right, um, let's let's say Nigel. Go back to Nigel here. Okay. What's what symbol am I holding here? Uh, a circle. The circle. You see how good you are at this? <laughs> Very good. Uh, let's say, uh, Frankie, what symbol am I holding here? Uh, the plus. The plus. Okay, let's put that up here. Um, Nigel, what do you think about this one? Which one's this? Uh, uh, the square. Square? Okay. And uh, Frankie, what about this one? Uh, the wavy lines. Wavy lines. Mm -hmm. And then last one. Um, sorry, I, I do forgive me. The, the other gentleman, what's your name, sir? Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, what do you think about this one? Circle. Circle, okay. So that, of course, leaves the star, right? And of course, that could have been a one in five chance. But for all of these to be correct, it's a lot higher. It's actually one in 120. 
because it's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 120 possibilities, and that makes this very <laughs> improbable. <Yeah. laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Um yeah, this is E-Wave. You guys just saw a live performance of E-Wave. We had three spectators, Nigel, Frankie, and Jeff coming in. Um, before we jump into some of the details, do any one of our guys that are here have a question for Mark about E-Wave? Do you guys have a question for Mark about this? Yeah, Mark. Yeah. yeah. Go, ahead, Jeff. Go. Um, how far away should I be? Can I do it for a parlor type of audience? You can do it for a parlor. And I did see, um, I've seen a couple of people say that they don't think that this can be done close up. And it actually can. This can be done close up. Um, the problem is sometimes, like with my, my uh, way out effect, some people said to me, uh, you know, I saw some people say that they didn't think that could be done close up. It can if you just work on the handling. So, I mean, I, I perform way out close up and I can do this close up. Um, I think without going into details of the method of this, um, I'm going to just say this and th this will um, this will mean something to people who have the effect when it's you can do this two feet away from somebody. Um, but with this, you just need to angle the card slightly this way, not that way. And that's something I discovered. I learned that the hard way. I realized that I'd, I'd flashed something. And then I realized, ah, oh, if I just tilt them back slightly, um, uh, you know, so if there was somebody very tall looking down on me, I, I would just tilt it so it was flat onto their view. Um, but yeah, just, just a slight tilt back. And you can do it right under their noses. And parlor, you could do it parlor with no problem whatsoever. Yeah. Great, thank you. Nice. Uh, I think You're Nigel also had a question for you, Mark. I want to go ahead and get that in, uh, Mr. Nigel. Hey, Mark. Yeah, awesome effect. Hi. I think you answered most of the questions. Uh, and actually, in the performance, um, you do show the back, don't you? You can you can do that, is that right? Yeah, that's another thing that um, I saw somebody was saying. They did, yeah, you can see the back of the board. There's no, uh, you know, there's no second set of cards stuck on the back. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Very good. Uh, another exciting thing, actually, about Nigel, uh, that's kind of funny, if anything, right before this, Nigel wanted to join on, uh, be one of our spectators. What, what arrived in the post, Nigel? What, what did you get as we were getting ready to do this? I haven't even opened it yet. It might be. Mark knows what it is. I literally, I literally messaged Luke earlier, and um, yeah, this, this is like, I haven't even opened it yet. So this this is quite weird. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be revealing anything, but yeah, here we go. And it's well packaged. Here we go. Oh, the packaging looks awesome. How cool is that? Nice. Yeah, I, I must say Phil Shaw did the packaging, and I'm uh, really pleased with uh, with the design on that. Yeah, he really got me. Awesome. Are you are you going to open up anything else tonight, or are you going to are you going to play it safe? Oh, actually, no. You know, what? there's something else inside in here. Uh, oh gosh, hang on. It's, oh, it's actually inside the box. I don't know if I can actually open it now. But it's, it's all it's all pretty much sealed. So, um, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, here we go. The suspense. That is beautiful packaging, Mark. You did a great job. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to open it in case I might reveal something. So, but yeah, it's it's really well packaged. It's it's really nice. So, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. This 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 effect. I, I've put more effort into this than anything else I've ever done that I've ever released on this. So, it uh, it did take a lot more work than anybody could possibly imagine to uh, to get it together. Nice. Does it come with a stand? Sorry? Mark, does it come with a stand? It does not come with a stand. No, it doesn't. It's, okay. uh, yeah, so it, it's, um, I mean, that would just be not economically. It was, it, 
I, I did see, I saw a couple of people actually, I've seen twice now, I've seen someone say it was a bit pricey, um, that it was a bit expensive. And, um, but then most of the feedback that I, I've had from professional performers say that it's way too cheap. And, uh, and certainly when I was initially planning to release it, it was going to be twice the price. Uh, well, a bit more than twice the price that it is now. Um, but I wasn't going to produce so many. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot more um, time goes into the actual making of this than people would realize. The cards are very, um, they're kind of covered in a vinyl. So they can, mm -hmm. um, if you spill a drink on it, you just wipe it off and it will last. It's not like cardstock that will absorb um, liquid. And um, I, I, one time I was practicing the moves, um, you know, or, well, not really practicing, developing the moves. So choreographing the moves um, while I was watching uh, TV, uh, uh, you know, Netflix. So for hours and hours and hours and hours, I was doing the same handling. And after a while, they started to get a little bit sticky. And I thought, oh, no. Um, and I realized it was the sweat from my hands just through the, and the heat from just being constantly, the friction from being constantly moved. So I went to the, uh, the bathroom and, and got a, a, um, a towel and, a, and wet it with warm water and a little bit of hand soap and just wiped them and, um, and then dried them. And then they just handled perfectly brand new all over again. So, you know, they're, they're going to last a long time. Nice. Yeah. Um, I've seen a couple people, couple people asking in the chat um, if you're able to customize this. Ooh, look at Nigel. He's got the he's got the set out. There he goes. Yeah, Let's see that. You. There he goes. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's have... it's really well made. I'll say that the, oh, the yeah. cards are sort of a vinyl. Just going back on what Mark was saying, and then I think that you've got like a, a cover, the, the sort of the back there. But that's an acetate. That, that peels off. Is that right, Mark? Is it, is it coloured at the back or? Yeah, it peels off. I mean, you could keep it on or peel it off, but it's just a protective yeah. layer. Um, cool. Yeah. Um, oh, about the customizable thing. Well, yeah. I, I, we are contemplating bringing out a blank version, but it just depends on how no. financially viable it, it is to do that. Um, sure. But uh, to customize this, I would say I would say it's not impossible, but I, I'd say you'd have to be pretty good with uh, your arts and crafts to, to, to do that. Okay. Um, um, but you know, if once you understand the the principle and how it's made, it's, it wouldn't be impossible for another person to make their own version of this. Um, yeah, I had yeah. someone asking about if they would be able to make this uh, like a larger version for stage visibility. If if it would be hard to rebuild it to make it bigger, you know, play bigger for stage. Well, well I I mean, I, the, the size of these cards, um, just to compare it. You know, to uh, that's that's a bicycle card. Oh, you know, yeah. so yeah, and these symbols. Um, you know, in the I, in the beginning, I was experimenting with uh, symbols of a heart and a brain and a dollar sign, and you know, I had a whole uh, meaning behind each each bit. But after a while, I decided to go with these symbols because they're so you know the ESP symbols because these can be. These symbols could be seen. I'm confident that, that these will be seen on a stage with 1,500 people in the audience. You know, qu quite confident that you'll see that with 1,500 people in the audience. Nice. Um, but, um, yeah, so I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure that you'd need to make it any bigger. Perhaps, you know, unless you were doing audience, unless your audiences have got four or 5,000 people in there. Got it. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, but and then if you were doing that, you'd have a camera and a screen anyway. Yeah, that's true. Good, good call. And speaking of cameras, um, a live situation, but you're also able to perform this virtually, like we just did, which is why I'm glad that you were here to do this because yes, things are opening up. Yes, people can go out and see live performing, but if you are still having to do some virtual shows here and there, as you guys saw watching, this can be done just like this, just like you saw it. It works perfect for this too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I um, I didn't really get into doing anything. I didn't, I, I wanted something that would be Zoom and stage and parlor and closer. In fact, that's, I, I, I think that with a, a lot of my things, I, I want it, I don't want to waste time limiting it to one area. 
Yeah. Cool. Uh, and if you guys are just tuning in, I know that we've got quite a few viewers now. Um, at the very beginning of this, you can watch the replay. Mark performed a full uncut performance with E-Wave for each of our spectators. He used each spectator. They made the choices. The magic happened. He read their minds live. So if you do want to watch this, I know we're streaming live at the moment. Catch the replay. We're going to wrap this up in just a few minutes. Go back to the very beginning. You'll see Mark perform this uh, one full uncut performance of three truly random spectators uh, that we picked uh, that we're watching today. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And one of them just got their E-Wave in the mail. Mr. Nigel just got his in the mail. And you can see it back there behind him. Great advertising. Great advertising. <laughs> <laughs> um we'll grab another I already live ordered from mark oh i'm sorry what was that jeff go ahead uh, i already ordered from mark oh he already got oh, his well, thank you jeff I, I, I... <laughs> yeah. um there was one last question coming in here you'll have it but you'll you'll, you'll... sorry i know we have a little bit of a delay um is there a reason why you chose the order of the five symbols on the big board? We'll go ahead and get that question in. That one comes in from Facebook. Um, a little bit. I mean, I, I, I went through a lot of thinking uh, and, and in the end, I just, you know, you know, there, there is, you know, th this position and this position are very strong psychological choices um, over the others. Uh, and I, I, I suppose at times I'm, I may, knowing that can be useful, but generally not. Generally, this order is not, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's not so important. It's, it's not important at all to the effect, actually. Cool. It does, it's not going to be any, it wouldn't be any stronger or weaker uh, if the, they were in a different order. Yeah. Sure. Um, this was a good question. Uh, Christopher is the same guy that was asking if you could perform this on stage or make it bigger. He also wanted to know, could you tell us the dimensions of the board? Do you happen to know those dimensions off the top of your head? I don't know the dimensions, but I can do something slightly better than that. I can tell you that I had this made so it fit inside a case. Oh, that's cool. So, for example, you know, like a, you know, a case like like this kind of a thing. Yep. Yeah. It will fit inside there. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was very much... Um... <laughs> uh, and we have other people saying that they definitely see the value in this, that it, they think it's also too cheap. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it from a spectator's point of view, this isn't just one trick. You're getting a full routine here. So I think it's really important to note is a lot of times you just get a single trick, you buy it, you do it, it's over. I mean, this, you could milk it for a good five yeah, I mean, minutes plus easily, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. just to reiterate, the time that it took me to develop this effect, um, it, you know, it was ages. And then on on top of that, the time that it took to actually um, uh, figure out the production sequence and the economics to make it all make sense financially about how it was going to be produced, that took an awful lot of work and some risk, some financial risk I I initially. Uh, and then the time that it takes to actually make them, which, you know, I, I make them. That's another thing people don't realize. So I think anybody that thinks it's too pricey, either A, is not an actual performer who works for money or has got no direct experience of producing, creating prototypes and producing an effect and putting it out there in the marketplace. Um, quite simply because, you know, to really to all, all the, to figure out all the calculations of, of, of make it, taking it from an effect to market all the way along, it's it really does take some um, playing about with the money. And in fact, I wanted it to be cost more, but it was um, pressure that, you know, it was suggested to me to just keep the price down and, uh, you know, so that we can get more of them out there. Yeah. Cool. I, it, I, I, I tell you, it actually, I, I didn't realize how long it would take to make each one. I, I, I when I, when I figured out all the, the costs and I, and I agreed all the, you know, with all the, the people or the finances and for the materials and everything, I had actually not realized how long it takes to make these things. And I, at the beginning, I was a little bit, oh God, what have I done? I, you know, it, it's a serious amount of time to produce each one. 
it, there's five layers in each card. Like, you know, there is a plastic, there is a printed vinyl each side, and there is matte laminate clear to protect the ink on each side of that. So, it, you know, it might, it looks like just a thin card, but it's, you know, the amount of prototypes that we went through, the amount of materials that we experimented with till we got it to that point was, you know, costly in time and money. So, right. yeah. Well said. I'm glad you mentioned that because it is true. <laughs> There's a lot more that goes into something than yeah. just getting the trick and having it to use. Like all the work that you don't see behind the scenes uh, that makes it happen. Yeah, that's not an easy process. Yeah. It, I, it, I actually, I find it difficult to go on things like the Magic Cafe because you see flippant comments from oh, yeah. people. Well, it's a bit pricey. And you just think, fuck off. Like, you've got no idea. You, it, 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 it really annoys me. Like, so, in fact, I don't look at it because it's, uh, you know, it, it makes me angry. Yeah. If you didn't like Mark Oberon now, you love him right now because he is just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can confirm. I can confirm the measurements. Uh, are 13 inches by by about 18 inches. There we go. All right. <laughs> yes. We're getting all the answers today. We're getting all the answers. <laughs> I love it. And we're getting the raw Mark Oberon, who just gives no Fs. He's just like, I'm going to tell it like it is. <laughs> I, I've been, all day I've been having a word with myself, trying not to uh, let that side out of me. There's a lot more to be said. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm just trying to be it, nice. Like, but I it, get it. It, 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 it. So for anybody that wants to try and produce magic and put it out in the world, you just as a barrage of negativity out there that you have to kind of navigate and avoid, like in order to get something out there, it's, it's dreadful. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, we're glad that you put, you know, put forth the effort, the time, and obviously the cost that goes with it to prototype uh, and take something from an idea um, all the way to a finished product. And Nigel's having some fun over there with his already. He's just checking out the cards and playing with <laughs> it. Now, this, is, this is positive. This is positive, and I'll give it the thumbs up. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Nigel. Thank you. He's starting to see the secrets now. Nigel's starting to piece it all together. And he's like, ah, okay, that's how that works. There's... <laughs> There's um, there's some mirrors involved, and there's some. I'm just kidding. There's no mirrors involved. <laughs> <laughs> um, any other questions from the boys? I want to make sure that we get as much answered as possible. I know there's not a whole lot to ask. I mean, this is obviously not very difficult to perform either. That's that's another big thing that to note is that while it looks impossible, it's not going to be something that um, you're going to have to worry about practicing a whole lot because really the thing kind of works for itself, kind of works by itself for mm -hmm. you. You know, so that's pretty cool. Um, could I ask, Mark, why, where did the yeah. name come from, E-Wave itself? Where did that come from? Oh, that was um, a name that was suggested to me by Patrick Wolford at Murphy's. We were, um, I was going to call it ESP Wavelength. Mm. And he said, oh, it's, you know, it's too long. You need to get something shorter. And he suggested that. And I just thought, yeah, go with that. Yeah. It's me The good thing about the word E-Wave is it's memorable, um, I guess. And Yeah. Um, also, while we're all here, because uh, I'm just thinking of this in my head since we're all getting mental right now, E-Wave sounds kind of like B-Wave, and I want to give some love out to Max Maven, who just had some pretty major surgery. He had, literally had some brain surgery. They had to get a tumor out of there. So from all the magicians out there and us right now, we want to send love to Max Maven. I know he may or may not be watching this, but send some love to Max Maven, because that's a big deal, and it sounds like he's okay, but wanted to say that out loud so yeah. yeah 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 i was i was really i mean I, i've known max not i'm not a close friend of max but i've known him for many years and i, and I, I contacted him you know just a, like about two weeks ago and said i've there's something i'm really proud of and i'd love to show you um and uh you know i i was more nervous performing it for max than uh, than anybody and when he said that he liked it and he didn't and it fooled him and uh, it really, that was, you know, my heart was beating really fast. I was so pleased and was happy to give me a quote. And uh, we've got quite a few people watching that say that they've already ordered this uh, even before watching this, which is a good thing. You know, people know your name, your reputation. Obviously, Insider was a smash hit. Uh, as a, a lot of your things have been, Mark. 
Um, so when you put something out, and it's just this is like the icing on the cake that we're able to come on, have you talk about stuff so candidly, um, and and answer questions for people that want to know more about this stuff. And you performed it live. So again, if you guys are just hanging out with us now, go back after this is over and watch a full performance of E Wave. If you've been on the fence about it, um, you'll see exactly why Nigel has his now, why he thought it was something for him and, and a lot of other people. I know Jeff also has ordered his. Jeff is one of our live spectators here. So um, it's a great piece of magic, great piece of mentalism. It's just great. That's all that I can say about that. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm, I'm so yeah. grateful for you having me on the show. I, and really, it's a real honor and a pleasure for me to be here. And yeah, I, it's fun, I love man. It because... I mean, after the last one, when we did Insider, you showed me this <clears throat> after the chat privately. You showed me E-Wave and you showed me how it worked. And I'm like, Hell yeah, we're gonna have you do this again. Gonna have to come back on. This is too good not to talk about. So I'm glad we made it happen. This has been great. I hope people are enjoying this and get something out of it to make that decision when it comes to, uh, you know, hit up your favorite magic shop and get this, guys. You know, you're on the fence about it. Watch this, get the deets, and and make it happen. Easy peasy. So, uh, yeah. All right. So I guess we'll start wrapping this up then. Uh, Nigel, thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoy your e-wave. Hope you enjoy that. Cheers, Mark. Thanks, Luke. Take care, buddy. Frankie, thank Thanks, you for Nigel. hanging out and being one of our live spectators. We appreciate Good, you being here. All right. Thank you, Frankie. There and you to go. Jeff. Oh, look at that. What's what's Jeff got there? Oh, inside that. Thanks, Mark. Your, your, your e-wave will be there soon, uh, Jeff. I, I, I posted it yesterday. Hmm. Okay, thanks. So. Very good. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff, for hanging out and uh, being one of our spectators. We appreciate mm -hmm. you being here, man. All right, let's do this one more time. We are going to get out of here. Uh, thank you, Mark, for hanging out on a Saturday. My I pleasure. appreciate you getting a little extra weekend time with you. So thank you for that. And uh, I'm sure there will be more Mark O'Brien stuff coming down the pipe. Is years to come. So we'll be doing this more and more over the over over time. But thank you for hanging out and doing e way for us. That that was always. A great thing when you can actually perform something live for people and see they can see just what it looks like um this is the perfect thing for that so thank you for taking the time to do that oh for it's us. my yeah. pleasure yeah. yeah cool and you guys watching at home thank you for hanging out with us on a saturday a little weekend bonus action for you guys and don't forget we will pop up live all the time so if you're watching this on facebook click the bell if you're watching this on youtube click the bell and subscribe and all that good stuff and once again, you can get E-Wave today, right now, from your favorite magic shop. Hit them up. They will take good care of you and get this in your hands. All right? All right. If you have any other questions about E-Wave, always drop them in the comments. We're checking them out. We do our best to answer those for you. So from me and Mark O'Brien, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And thank you once again, Mark, for your time today. We very much appreciate it, my friend.